and welcome to another show. You know, over the last two years, the workplace has seen some dramatic, uh, dramatic changes to accommodate, you know, for working from home. Many organisations were forced to expedite their digital transformations, thus introducing new advanced technologies. Now, the issue that continues to be raised, though, by this rapid transformation is the difficulty of finding candidates with the right set of skills. The World Economic Forum recently found that only 33% of technical jobs worldwide are filled by the necessary skilled personnel. Now, this has forced businesses to rethink how individuals, especially those from overlooked or underserved communities within our global label market, are trained and prepared for the jobs of tomorrow. So without investing, you know, in the development of skills and pathways uh, to in-demand careers in our increasingly digital economy, many, unfortunately, will continue to be left behind. So, Kelly Jordan, she's the Director, Career, Skills and Performance at IBM, and they've tackled this issue in a big way. IBM has established their apprenticeship program five years ago this month. So how's it going, Kelly, and welcome. Thanks for having me, and it has been going wonderfully. Since we launched our program five years ago, we have had almost 1,000 apprentices start their career at IBM. They've been able to come in through this new type of program, earn while you learn, uh, and really get the skills that they need to enter a career in the technology industry, which for many of them had been previously out of reach. Yeah, that's that's pretty good, isn't it? I mean, it's registered this program with the U.S. Department of Labor, and it allows Mm -hmm. apprentices to earn a paycheck while they build skills for various strategic roles. Um... What is an apprenticeship per se? So for us, it is about a 12-month program uh, where a candidate comes in, an apprentice comes in, and they are doing learning and working on an IBM team. So they are acquiring knowledge, building skill, and applying that skill all at the same time, and they're getting a paycheck while they do it, which is really exciting. So it's a great can- It's a great program for people who may have felt like college just wasn't the right path for them. Um, for people who are maybe making a mid-career transition and trying to get into something new. And it's a great way to really think about bringing in talent from underserved communities who had previously really maybe not had that connection to opportunities in the technology industry. Mm. Yeah, because there would be quite a few that miss out. So, in effect, IBM believes that apprenticeships can help close the opportunity gap. So how do apprenticeships, though, Kelly, help address the labor shortage and create a more, you know, uh, equitable workforce? There are hundreds of thousands of Americans, not millions, that are shut out of the workforce today by something that we call the paper ceiling. It's really that invisible barrier that prevents them from moving forward because they don't have a bachelor's degree. There's 62% of Americans that don't have a bachelor's degree today. So that's a huge, huge number of people who maybe have the skills but haven't been able to realize what their potential is. So programs like apprenticeship really help all companies break through that barrier and gain access to a much more diverse pool of skilled candidates. For us, that really has helped us to put skills at the forefront. You know, we are all competing for the same candidates. Every company needs technology skills today, regardless of the industry that they're in. And so by making more jobs accessible to people who previously have not had the opportunity to even apply, you're automatically helping to create a much broader labor pool and helping to create opportunity for more people to enter the workforce. Gee, it sounds good, doesn't it? Uh, You're right, you know, too many jobs advertised, you know, for the sake of it, they whack on bachelor's degree. And from what I can ascertain, It's more about, you know, well, well, you can study a little bit and, you know, you show that you're disciplined or something like that. But it doesn't mean at all you'd be able to handle the job once you get into it. You know, what types of skills does a person need to apply to this particular apprenticeship program? We're looking for what are commonly known as the soft skills. So things like curiosity, a growth mindset, adaptability, teamwork and collaboration. The entire point of the apprenticeship is that we're going to teach you those technical skills. So it's those soft skills that are really helpful in not only succeeding as an apprentice, 
but that are going to serve you well as you graduate from the program and progress into a full-time career. You know, uh, IBM, big company, been around for a long time, great divisions all over the place, but $250 million, that's a lot of moolah in this particular whole program. Why, well, what am I trying to say? Why was it important, do you think, you write, for IBM to even bother to start a program like this? We've always really put skills first. And so for us, that meant starting internally, making sure that we were removing degree requirements from our jobs and thinking about programs like apprenticeship that could help bring more candidates into the technology industry. That's when we coined the term new collar, meaning careers in the technology field that require skills, but not necessarily a degree. Careers that fall between blue collar and white collar on that spectrum. Um, you know, but I think what we've been able to show is that apprenticeship in the technology industry, which is pretty new, can work. Over five years, we've had a thousand apprentices come through our program, and many other companies are now starting apprenticeships in their industries as well, which was something that we hadn't seen in the past. Mm. Yeah, well, I grew up with that in Australia. A lot of apprenticeships started at the bottom line, and if you're with the company, you're learning their way, their culture at the same time while you're being trained. It's a great idea what you're doing here. And all those uh, numbers that have gone through. Now, let's look at somebody who's not technical. Can they actually start with this and still end up, you know, pretty good at the end of five years? Oh, they absolutely can. Of those thousand apprentices, I've got probably a thousand different stories I could tell you. We have had former baristas, former rideshare drivers, Firefighters come through our program and graduate as software engineers at IBM. One of our current apprentices uh, is Jordan Bond, and he was working, doing accounting work at a car dealership. He ultimately lost his job as a result of COVID, but thought to take his first stimulus check and buy himself a laptop and started to sign up for some online Python and data science courses which is what made him land our data science apprenticeship. And so he's working through the program now, but was able to make that transition from something a little more non-technical to a role in the technology industry. Yeah, oh, no doubt about it. Uh, Fortunate in that particular case, a whole new different career. Might have been miserable Mm -hmm. in what he was doing as well, but thanks to IBM, got this opportunity. So, you know, somebody listening may say, well, look, God, I've never been technical. In fact, I hate this stuff, but maybe there's a way I can find the true me if I find out about this. And, and you know, do you encourage people then to at least talk to you, even if they feel that way? Absolutely. And we have had apprenticeships in 25 different roles, so they're not always technical. We've even had apprentices and marketing and communications and human resources, which is what I work in. Wow. Um, it, you can, go, you can go out to our website, ibm.biz forward slash U.S. Apprenticeship, and you can learn more about the program. You can learn more about all of the different types of roles that we offer apprenticeships in, and you can see what we're currently hiring for, and we do hire for apprenticeships year-round. And if there aren't some that sound interesting to you right now, you can join our talent network, and we'll reach out if we've got a match for you at a future point in time. Well, isn't that good? So any mom and dad right now, you know, grandma, granddad, I mean, you're talking to your grandchild, he's not sure what he really, where he wants to go, and he doesn't feel he's good enough for this or that, not the case. This is terrific. This isn't just about technical. There are other opportunities. And all they've got to do is go to visit this particular website and sit down and have a read, go right through it, see what can be offered, and then uh, they contact. Do they end up contacting you directly, Kelly, or is there a, like a chain to go through? Um, any contact through there will come in through our talent team. So oh. it would be a way to connect with us at large. Right. Isn't that terrific? So let me make sure I've got this correct address now. It's uh, www.ibm.biz, B-I-Z, forward slash USA Apprenticeship, all one word. USA Apprenticeship, right, dot com. Uh, forward slash, it's um, ibm.biz forward slash US Apprenticeship. Ah, so there's no A in there. Huh. Okay. Just All right. one, just one, not two. <laughs> yeah. Let's be sure before you go, ibm.biz forward slash US Apprenticeship, 
dot com. Okay. All right. Thank you. Fabulous. Good stuff. Good job, Kelly. Keep it up. Bye bye. Bye.